Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this week 5 assignment of database management system course. So friends, uh, please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video, you may miss some content I will say in between or if I modify any solution, you may not be able to note that. So do watch the full video. So first of all, uh, I will give the solutions for the questions which I have got I mean when I did this I have got some certain solutions so for that type of questions I will give uh, solutions first and later I will give the solutions for probable solutions so let's see the first question which of the following can be the solution or solutions for password leakage problem in database service so here the confirmed answer is option A, two-factor authentication. It means uh, we have to type password and also plus a one-time password, a password. That means OTP will be sent as an SMS to the mobile number. So it is first option is correct. And maybe the option B is also correct. Definitely C and D are wrong. Storing encrypted passwords in database and in scripts it may also be the solution so but a is confirmed so if you want to take a step forward you can uh, apply both the solutions otherwise just stick with option a guys if anyone know the exact one i mean whether option b is correct or not you can please confirm in the comment section here i am going with both the options as correct one a is definitely correct but i am not sure i mean most probably i think b is also correct but please confirm me here in the comment section and let's see the second one i will zoom this for further understanding so here in second question in a file structure of variable length records which of the following does a slotted page header contain so for second question there are three correct answers the first one is option b number of record entries and next one is option c end of free space in the block and the other one is option d size of the next record so mark b c and d as the correct answers for second question and i will directly move on to the fifth question because i have already told you that what i have got exactly i will tell first and later the probable one and fifth question what is the availability of dbms having the following reliability parameters mtbf is 36 days mttr is 18 hours so first of all convert these days into hours 36 days each day have 24 hours so 36 into 24 here the pro mean the solution is the availability is equals 1 minus 18 by that means mttr mttr by mttr by mtbf this is the formula 1 minus this is the formula for availability so 1 minus 18 by 36 into 24 so 18 ones and 18 twos so 1 minus 1 by 48 so 47 by that is equals 47 by 48 in 48 in terms of percentage into 100 we will multiply then it will give the answer 97.75 i mean 97.95 so mark option c as correct answer for fifth question and moving on to the sixth one i mean next question only so sixth question actually i did this question so when i did this i got the answer as option b 613 so mark option b as correct answer for sixth question and moving on to the seventh one seventh question so it is about 
most recently used strategy here there are four free buffer blocks they are saying so it, it will be like this I am not going to explain all that because it will take much more time actually it took me long time to find all the solutions to do this so first it will be like this nine five one two and we will replace certain blocks like this like this so further furtherly so when i did the seventh question i got the answer as eight there will be eight replacements that i have got guys uh, these are the probable solutions if you uh, found there should be any change in the solution you can please mention in the comment section so that uh, we can give best solution to our viewers so but for me for the seventh question i have got option b as correct answer that is eight replacements and moving on to the tenth question directly so in tenth question oh i have used the formula directly uh, 128 gigabyte 128 gb by 2048 it is in terms of bytes 2048 bytes and here 1 bit is equals 1 by 8 of a byte so 32 by 8 bytes then 8 fourths 32 and 128 sixteenths and 4 fourths so when I did this we will get 256 MB so for 10th question I think the correct answer is option A I have got option A only so with this 3 4 5 and 6 so with this we have got six questions and let's see the remaining four probable solutions and so directly move on to the third question so guys why i'm explaining all these things means uh, you want i'm i want to make you know that uh, in which way i have i have got these answers so for that i am telling this one so for third question i have got the probable solutions as option B is the probable one for third question guys uh, if you think any solution to be changed please mention in the comment section for third question I probable solution is option B and moving on to the fourth one fourth question here transfer rate is 75,000 before that here disk unit rotates 7200 7200 rpm it means revolutions per minute so want to if you want to calculate millisecond time 1 minute is equal 60 seconds so 60 by 7200 into 1000 so that get in terms of milliseconds so for this I have will get 8.33 and keep this aside they gave 20 milliseconds so 20 milliseconds plus 8 8.33 and next here the book in a library the record of a book is 300 bytes but there are five such records and the speed is 75,000 bytes so 5 into 300 1500 1500 bytes are existing our speed is 75,000 bytes per second so for 75,000 byte transfer we need one second for 1500 bytes we need just 1 by 50th of a second that means 20 milliseconds so 20 plus 20 40 
48.33 guys here uh, they did not mention 48.33 so i think approximately 44 milliseconds may be the answer i am not sure about this so i told the probable solution for this for fourth question i, I have got option b as answer if you guys uh, know the exact solution or if you want to confirm me th that this is the solution please mention it in the comment section for every question you know and next after fourth question let's uh, move on to the eighth one remaining for all questions i have given earlier only so for eighth question i think order is first first of all two is the uh, starting one next it will be three and and next it will be four first one and finally it will be four so two three one four i think option a is the probable one for eighth question and the final question of the assignment i mean what i did not told you yet so for ninth question what will be the refined optimal schema so for ninth question uh, the probable solution i have got option b so mark option b guys all these are probable solutions according to me uh, if you want to suggest me any changes or if you know the exact solution for any any question please mention all those in the comment section so we'll try to discuss and give the best solution to our viewers so before the final submission time deadline once again visit the comment section to see whether there are there are any updates posted or not so friends hope this video helpful for you uh, if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends so if you want to contribute towards uh, the re revelation of solutions exact solution if you know you can do that in the comment section so until the next video it's goodbye keep supporting us thank you